All right, guys, this is coming along awesome. It's got the EDFs in there. Now this piece here is actually a functional thrust tube for the EDF. So I only have it glued to half the nacelle. This is an 80% FSA. I also provide a 90% FSA if you guys want to change the performance of your CRJ. So that way we just go ahead and put that on there, add the screws, and we're good to go. But if you want to switch it out, you just take it off, reprint this piece and this piece, and then you can have an interchangeable thrust tube for your CRJ, which is pretty cool. Make sure you guys, when you assemble this, you're doing it in the order that I'm doing it because as you can see inside of the fuselage, I have a whole mess of wires in there. So I'm wiring up the tail and then run the wires in there and then I can reach my arm in and pull the wires through as I'm building the rest of the fuselage. Otherwise, if you glue the whole fuselage together, then it's gonna be hard to reach back and wire up your EDS and all your servos. When designing this airplane, a really important part that I want to make sure I include is that everyone can build this airplane. So one of those things is making these parts small enough that you can fit that on an everyday printer. So the, this center section here, I split that into two pieces so you can fit that on a small 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter field plate. For this build, I designed a 3D printed spar for strength in the wing, uh, so you guys don't need to use a carbon fiber tube if you don't want to. Uh, if you guys are concerned about the strength of the wing, I do add a location to add an 8mm by 500mm carbon fiber tube. It's right here. Uh, I don't actually use it for my build, just to show you guys you know, that you guys don't need a carbon fiber spar if you don't want to. Uh, it's definitely strong enough without it. For the ailerons and the flaps, I do design them to be connected, so that way the print quality can be really nice. Uh, it ends up being a little bit more labor intensive to cut the two pieces apart and sand them and clean that up, uh, but the print quality is way better if you print them if they're combined. I do offer the STL file to be individual also, so if you guys want to just print them individually, you guys can do that also. This airplane is designed to be set up with a six channel receiver and transmitter, if that's all you guys have. I do offer a reversible servo and a universal servo bracket, so that way you guys can basically put these servos in any configuration that you'd like to. Uh, so that way if you want to hook up the ailerons, the elevators, and the flaps in a Y harness configuration to minimize the amount of channels required to fly this airplane, you guys can definitely do that. Uh, so for this airplane, I ended up using a 10-channel receiver and transmitter, but on my lightweight PLA version, I did a 6-channel setup, and I'll be flying that for you guys on my next video.
I've got two 2200 milliamps and a 1300 milliamp battery for the receiver. So let's go ahead and throw it on the scale and see what we get for ready flight weight. So I've got a couple different battery options. I got a larger 4S single pack and I got a couple dual pack setups I'm gonna do. So we're just about 3300 grams ready to fly weight. All right guys, we're out for the maiden, take two. This is what happened earlier this morning. So we didn't get enough speed to take off there. See how the tire melted? It melted the shaft that it's sitting on. It was just trying to take off the brakes on basically. So we're gonna fix that. <laughs> so we went back home and I had some aluminum landing gear that I modified to fit into this. And we have them all set up. And now we're gonna go ahead and try to see if it'll work. All right guys, for the batteries, they can be moved forward or back. And that whole battery tray can actually be shifted forward and out. So I have the two 4S. 2200 milliamps in there right now. So we'll check the CG right where the spar is at is where the CG set. So right there is the CG. So this is a CRJ 900. I did design it so that you guys can turn it into a 700 if you just take fuselage piece three out, then the front section hooks on to fuselage four. So you can make this a CRJ 700 if you guys would like to. Uh, I made it as a 900 because it's the tail number that I flew actually. So uh, let's take a step and see how it flies. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. Sweet. Takeoff was a little sketchy. I did a no flap takeoff, so it's got to have a oh, lot of speed to take flaps. off without. <laughs> so I took off no flaps, landed with a little bit of flaps, but we got to play around with a little more. I think flew sweet. Uh, this was so much fun to fly. It's a little gusty out here, so unfortunately today we're just going to do one one flight for you guys, and then we'll uh, take it out here again, and we'll get you guys some more flight video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next build.